Hi there. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Psy from Harp Notes Volume 1 and just working through what's going on with the fingering pattern in this one. So two big things to consider with Psy, the fingering pattern and the alternating hands. So we'll start out with that fingering pattern first up. So you start with the left hand on C, D, E and G. And what that means is you'll have, I'm going to show you with my right hand just so you can see from that side of the camera, you've got three fingers in a row, then you've got a gap, and then you've got the thumb. Three in a row, and then the thumb will be on G. Now the same notes in the left hand as the right hand. Three in a row, then the gap, and then the thumb. They're all semi-quavers, and you don't need to get too caught up about, oh, look, there's lots of little black notes that must mean it goes fast. Yeah, it doesn't actually go fast as such, but they're all the same length. So it's really helpful in this piece to actually count in groups of four. So you'd be going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, now, like I said, the other big thing with this piece is the alternating hands. If you look in the first bar, you'll see in the small print, there's a little LH and a little RH, meaning left hand and right hand. And what that looks like when you're playing, left, right, left, right, left, right. Now I'm keeping on counting in groups of four all the way through this. One, two, three, four. 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 Early placement is also really important in this. And if you watch my left hand, immediately comes up and then it comes back down again so it's ready to play up to E right hand is placing left hand is placing so you're thinking ahead the whole time now we've just got up to bar three the notes have changed but the fingering pattern is the same you've got three in a row and then a gap and then the thumb Previously, we've been starting this on C, but we're now starting that same fingering pattern on the other coloured string, on F. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See that early placement? Getting the hands onto the strings. Now here we've got that same fingering placement on the C, on the F, back down to the C again. And yeah, that top note is a C. So you can count all your little ledger lines up. You can take a pretty good guess. The piece is in the key of C. You're going to finish on C. So the other important things to look out for with this piece, you can spend some time practicing placement, just being able to get the hand immediately onto the strings with three fingers in a row, and then a gap, and then the thumb. So try not to fall into the habit of putting them all on individually, placing them together. Let me play it for you at a slower speed. So that's an introduction to Psy from Harp Notes Volume 1, and I hope you enjoy playing that piece.